all my most amazing artists. I'm so sad that I cannot be there with you today, but we are gonna be doing a cool project that I hope you enjoy. The video you saw before this video is called an optical illusion. It's something that tricks the eye into thinking something different. Today, we're gonna to be doing optical illusion hands. It's an optical illusion because these lines, these curvy lines over the hand, make it look like it's popping out of the paper. So we're gonna be doing this video follow along style, meaning I'm gonna do it on my paper up here on the screen. Your teacher is going to pause the video to allow you to do your drawing. All we need right at this moment is a piece of paper, an eraser, and a pencil. The first step of our optical illusion hand is to make sure our paper is vertical, not horizontal. Once you have your hand on your paper, you are going to carefully and slowly trace around your hand. We don't want to go too fast, because then our hand will look all wobbly, but we don't want to go too slow, because we only have a certain amount of time in class to work on this. After we have traced our hands, the next step, step number two, is going to be making these straight lines in the background of our hand. We're not going to think of the curvy lines yet, we're just going to think of the straight lines. For this step, if you do need a ruler, you may use one. But if you use a ruler, remember they are not swords and they are not wands. They must stay flat on their back the entire time because if you misuse it, the teacher is going to take it away from you. So, on the background, I like to draw my lines vertically. Drawing them horizontally is kind of difficult for me. So I'm going to turn my hand to the side. And on the outside of my line of my hand, or the outline of my hand, I'm going to draw straight lines. So I'm going to start on the edge, go down, once I hit my outline, oop, stop, jump, and finish it on the other side. So start at the top, go down. Once it hits my outline, oop, stop, jump, and finish it on the other side. You're gonna do this for the entire background. We're not gonna do anything in the hand yet. Don't worry about that yet. background of all my straight lines, I want to start working on the inside of my hand. You can do it vertically if that's easier for you to do the curves, but I'm going to go back to doing it on the side. We're going to start right where it touches the outline of our first line. And we're going to bump, make a curve or a rainbow or a bridge over to the other side where it touches the outline. We don't want to go too tall because we don't want it to pass this imaginary line right here. So we're going to start here, bump, and down. We're not passing this imaginary line. And we're going to do that for the rest of the hand. we have the outline of our hand, we have the stripes, the straight horizontal stripes in the background, and we have these little bump lines that go over our hand. The next step is we get to color the background. All these dark sharpie lines, we're not going to do that 
until the very, very end. That's the very last step. So each table can choose to use colored pencils, skinny markers, fat markers, or crayons. Each table can choose two bins. Coloring this can make or break your illusion. As you can see on my paper right here, all of my lines that go in the bump are also bumpy. The lines don't go up and down. They go bump, 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 bump. All the lines in the background are horizontal. They're not going all crazy directions. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Cause if you don't do it this way, your illusion might get a little fuzzy. I'm gonna turn it to this side like I did with all the other steps. I'm gonna take my marker, hold it at a diagonal and drag it. Once I get to the outline, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go back. Start, stop, start, stop. Notice how I'm not going super fast. I'm taking my time. Now I'm gonna do that for all of the background first before I start inside of the hand. Now that I have my background all nice and straight, now I'm going to get to my bumpy areas. So I'm going to start at either the bottom or the top, start at the edge of my hand, and follow that bump that I made. And I'm just going to continue following that bump all the way up to the top. There, I got my two fingers done. Notice how there's no white space showing through. It's nice and solid. The first two are going with the bumpy line that we made. This finger right here, all the lines are going vertically. And then this pinky finger is just going all different directions. Which ones are better? Which ones are not as great? So be mindful when you're coloring your paper, which direction your marker, colored pencil, or crayon strokes are going. <laughs>